Hello everyone and welcome. My name is River and today we're going to do a political reading. So if that's not your jam, I'll give you a few seconds to click away. I did a reading for Vice President uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden after the announcement that Joe Biden would be stepping down as the um, presidential candidate for this election. Now today, uh, or as, a, as of I'm, I'm making this video, as of this recording, Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, has chosen Tim Walls from Minnesota to be her running mate. I've been reading on this all day, but I wanted to sit down with you guys because I keep sort of seeing some of the same cards popping up <clears throat> time and time again. So I think it'd be cool to sit down with you to see if any of those cards pop up. Um, and also maybe ask some different questions. I really want to know just like a general temperature of the room, if you will. And now that we pretty much know Kamala Harris is going to be the name secured on the ballot for the election. Today, I'm going to use the One World Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and get shuffling, and then uh, I'll go ahead and deal the cards out on camera so that you can be along for the ride. We can see this together. Okay. If the camera's shaking, I'm sorry. Just laying the cards out here. <clears throat> I like to do, I don't know if you do this, sorry. I know you didn't come come here for this, but I like to do what I call a wash of the cards, or I like to wash the cards before reading. Just where I just sort of take, separate them all out into three separate piles. And while I'm doing this, I like to say exactly what it is that the reading is gonna be for. All right, deck. So Vice President Harris has chosen her running mate for the campaign. It is Tim Walls from Minnesota. What can you tell us about the general energy in the Democratic Party? What's the general temperature throughout the nation? We are interested in any information, any wisdom you're willing to share with us regarding the subject. Give it one more good shuffle and then we will we will get started. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck and let us begin. All right, right off the bat, we have the Page of Wands as our signifier, so this is good. And if you look at this card, uh, we actually get to see a person <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fitting. We get to see a person standing here on a podium speaking to a crowd of people. Uh, this looks like hope to me. This looks like a sense of renewed hope and, you know, showing up for the people. Let's keep going. This, funny enough, is the card that I've been seeing all day long in the readings that I've been doing around the news. I keep seeing the Four of Cups. We'll kind of get into it here in just a second. So we've got our four cards. And then this is also the other card that I keep seeing. So I'm going to say that this is definitely, sorry, I'll get this readjusted. The message is ringing true for me right now and probably ringing true for you as well. Now we've got the page of cups. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited over this four of cups because I was hoping this would show up again because every single time I've pulled cards today for the Democratic Party, for the, the news surrounding the Democratic Party and moving into the Democratic Convention, I keep getting this card specifically with Tim Walls. So this right here as our signifier, it's just going to represent the general energy around what's going on. This Page of Wands is movement uh, in play. Now, what we see here is not someone that we are familiar with as a collective. This is someone who is, it's a page. It's someone that's new to us. They they really need to win us over. This is, we don't really know this person, but yet we're showing up and we want to hear what they have to say because they do draw us in. They have characteristics that we do find intriguing. They are speaking words that make us feel inspired, ignited, feel good. So we're showing up. That's sort of the overall theme here. And I think that's very true. It's, we need to get to know you a little bit more, but we're, we're willing to get to know you. We're eager. We want to get to know you. In the immediate past, what we see here is the Ten of Pentacles. 
this is interesting because it's a uh, I always say that this brings a sense of um, reunion to a reading to a spread with this being in the past for me in this reading I think it's an evaluation of family and family values and what we see right now in our political climate is one side is really literally trying to break down and invade your home <laughs> sorry to be so dramatic um this is by the way this is for entertainment purposes only don't take anything i'm saying here as a statement of fact this is for fun we are doing this for fun and for entertainment purposes but we do see two sides of the political spectrum here or at least the political spectrum that we now find ourselves in um, one side really truly wants to be in your business while the other side is actively saying and campaigning and saying what you do is your business we don't want to have any part of that this i think is um this reevaluation. i think that potentially what we see here is um people are starting to feel more united and feeling a sense of safety in family but community as well so the i think the democratic party because we're reading on tim walls here uh in the democratic party i think that we're starting to see um not only are they coming together as a community but look at all the money look at all the money that's being raised money is not everything of course you can spend all the money you have billions of dollars into a political interest and you you may not see that interest make it to where you want it to go and so is that money for nothing you know we see a lot of money but i don't want anyone to think that the money wins votes we do see that one side really really thinks that if they back billionaires and take the sides of billionaires and implement tax cuts for billionaires that it is going to keep them where they are we've seen it happen before it may happen again we hope i hope not it could happen again but in the immediate past i think we see I mean, I also saw videos online today of Tim Walls with his dogs. And like, look at this dude sitting here with his dogs and his family. I think this is truly representative of potentially how the state of Minnesota feels about Tim Walls and what he's brought to their state, what he's been able to implement and do. I don't know if you know this or not, but he actually signed, I think he signed into law in Minnesota that students get free breakfast and lunch. So, I mean... A family man i really think this is like this dude is a family man right now when we look at the immediate past this is the card i've been the most excited about when we look at the immediate past we have the four of cups you might be saying like river why are you so excited about this well the thing is i've been seeing this card all day it's been speaking to me over and over and over all day in relation to you know the democratic party and what's going on with tim walls and everything I think potentially this is not something that Tim Walls wanted. Okay, this is at the, or I'm sorry, this was at the immediate pass. I'm just too excited today. Please try to overlook my excitement because um, it does, doesn't it feel like there's a sense of hope being renewed? Come on, Page of Wands, show up and show out, babe. Um, so the at the root of everything is this Four of Cups. This is at the root of the reading. This, to me, I really, truly do not think that Tim Walls um, wanted to be vice president. I think he is perfectly content or was perfectly content to stay in Minnesota and govern the people of Minnesota. I truly think that when this came to him, it was a sense of, ugh. On, on, and I'm not, I'm not talking about to Vice President Harris. I think with his family, maybe with his wife, you know, behind closed doors, I think he was like, I don't really know that this is what I want. I think this is not really the ticket for me, but I will do it. I will step up to the plate because at the end of the day, he does prioritize safety in the family. I think that is truly a, a priority for Tim Walls. We see this. Um, he's been a pioneer for people of all walks of life so far from what we've seen uh and i think that he at the heart of it this is of course like at the, in the immediate past position is we get to see um his accolades from his life leading up to this moment now and this is what we see 
clearly couldn't be better than that, if you ask me. And I think he really didn't want it. I think he really didn't. Um, when we start to move forward into the re into the reading, what we see here, this is the um, this is the the current vibe of everything, and it's the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, do you see this? A gift being given. Also, I think this is representative of the party of a, as a whole. Because I think everyone wanted to see someone step into this position that is able to kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the political opponents, okay? So over on the Republican side, we've got people who are not afraid to say mean things. I mean, truly, if you listen to, it doesn't take long, like 10 minutes of anything they have to say, and it just creates nothing but division, and I think that the people, potentially the political party, and maybe even the greater people of the United States, have been hoping that we would get someone who can speak well and speak on their toes, doesn't necessarily have to have a script. My only, and I'm sorry for everyone who's going to come for me, so far, some criticism I even have of Vice President Harris is we tend to hear the same thing over and over and over again. Every time we see her speak, we hear the same speech. And after a certain point, it starts to feel a little bit inauthentic, you know? And we really, at this time, we're in a state of peril. We want to hear someone speak from the heart. We want to hear someone look us in the eyes and speak directly to us and not necessarily from a pre-written script and then to just stand out there and recite to the people over and over again. That's some of my criticism. And I think I'm not alone in that. I think there are a lot of people in America who were really hoping we would get someone to stand next to her because we don't necessarily want her to be taking the brunt of everything. You know, it's important. We need a sense of hope. She brings joy. She brings laughter. She brings a sense of lightness to just truly how heavy everything has been. But I think we secretly, didn't we kind of want someone who would step up and, you know, say a few quirky little things, toss a few little, uh, like, make a few little jabs, page of wands, you know, make, pay, use, give a few little jabs back over to the other side, because they're constantly saying whatever they're going to say. Don't you think it's kind of fun? And this isn't always money, so keep that in mind. Pinnacles is not always money, but it is related to the material world. It's physical, it's tangible, it's things we can hold and feel and touch. And I think that what we got is this right here. I think we got the uh, Ace of Pentacles in Tim Walls because he's someone who's gonna stand there. And I don't know if you heard him speak, I guess at his first time speaking since the announcement. And he was kind of throwing some shade over at the other side. <laughs> it's fun, it's funny, it's engaging to a younger audience. And I think Vice President Harris made a good choice and I think she delivered on that. Now let's take a look at the final outcome for everything. And this is another card that keeps popping up. And I can't wait to show you because it's the Nine of Cups, baby. And you can't tell me that that doesn't in some small way, come on, you see it. Doesn't that look like Tim Walls a little bit? Doesn't it though? This keeps popping up. Every time that I've done a reading for Tim Walls, and today I've done dozens, because um, I just keep asking, I keep asking a lot of questions. This right here, keeps coming up. Eight out of 10 readings, he's there. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, baby. This is so much abundance, but it's someone who, <clears throat> it's someone who has and is ready to hand out, okay? Nine of Cups does not keep the cups to themselves. They stand or they sit rather, and they're ready to hand out to others. This is someone who's going to shake your hand when you approach them. Do you have everything that you need? Because I have it and I'm here to give it. I'm here to sit where I am and make sure that everyone is looked after and everyone is cared for. Nine of Cups is so abundant and it's not 10, so it's not an overabundance. It's just right. It's like right there and we have the perfect person sitting on the bench willing to hand this out to everyone. This is a big reading. And I'm also really glad that I sat down and did this because I've been seeing these cards pop up and it's just further confirmation for me. So take that, do with that what you will. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll sneak in a little bit. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. And just so you can see, I've not touched anything. Here it is. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. 
because sometimes this can give us a little bit of information and a little bit of insight into the other side of the spectrum just to see what their thoughts and feelings are. So let's check that out. I'm going to slide these over here. And we've got, oh, interesting. We've got the hermit. This could be potentially very true. We've got the hermit. We've got the star, the tower. Temperance. I keep getting this for the Republican Party. And then we've got the Seven of Wands. Very interesting. So if we were to read this in the same way that we read for Tim Walls, um, the Hermit is going to be our signifier card. And I think that this is true because I feel as if everyone is starting to pull back a little bit. I think we're starting to see recognition within the Republican Party that the current people who have been elected to represent the Republican Party are really far from what maybe they want to associate with. I really think we're starting to see that, especially, honey, do you see this? This card keeps popping up. It keeps popping up for the month of August. It keeps popping up for everything going on, especially around the Republican Party. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see something big take place during the month of August. I know we have the National Democratic Convention coming up, and that's going to be all eyes on everyone, right? Don't be surprised. Don't be shocked if we don't see something <clears throat> take place. Sorry. Sometimes whenever you feel that feeling uh, as a reader, when you start to feel like that catch in your throat, uh, sometimes it can, you know, I, I'm, I sort of wonder, I'm like, is someone trying to like keep me from, from speaking on this? But I digress. Don't be surprised if we don't see something big take place during the month of August, um, especially towards the end of the month is what I feel like mid to the end of the month. I don't know if we could see some potential. Um, there could be some storms, natural disasters. I don't know. There could be some more uh, arguments within the political spectrum. I don't know. I don't I don't want to touch too much on it because it is it's, it's, it's a little bit scary if you really want to break it down. But don't be surprised. I keep seeing this card pop up. Another two cards that I again see a lot. The Star of Hope. Now you might be saying like, oh, but wouldn't that be such a good positive sign? Actually, I think that in a lot of ways it is because with this temperance card, listen, I think that the Republican Party is starting to wake up to what's happened. I think they're starting to realize they put all of their eggs into an unsecure basket and they're starting to see like, oh no, we, we may have made the wrong choice. We could have sent someone else who would have had a better chance. So the star of hope for the Republican Party is I think that this might be the last go around with 45. I don't think that they would try to put him in a position to run for president again. I think once this election is over, if he does not win, if he does not win this election, I think what they're going to do is say, listen, dude, you actually have to go. We can't do this with you anymore. It's too divisive. It just creates this image that we don't want to have associated with us and the Republican Party. And I think in a lot of ways, his failure would be a win for the Republican Party. We see balance. I'd like to see this represented for both parties. We want to live in a country where we get to have, you know, a well-balanced and intelligent Republican Party, as well as a well-balanced and intelligent Democratic Party, where two sides can come together for the greater good and for the betterment of our people and our country, right? I think, genuinely, what we're seeing on a political spectrum is the Republican Party is starting to say, baby, we got to stop this. I'm even starting to see online, there are some Republicans who are Republicans for Vice President Harris, who have said openly that they would be voting for um, Vice President Harris simply because Donald Trump is a threat to the Republican Party as well. Make no mistake, we love to say that this man is a threat to democracy, and he is, but it's also so important to, to recognize that he's not only a threat to democracy, he's a threat to any political standing. This man wants to reign over the country like a dictator, okay? He said, if he wins, you won't have to vote again. Make with that what you will. Make with that what you will. As our final outcome, we have the Seven of Wands. 
I don't think this is such a um, doom and gloom, but I do think this is going to be a lot of energy from coming at the Republican Party of I told you so and what now, what's next. We're going to see some outbursts. We're going to see some pushback. It's going to get a little bit ugly. There's going to be some harsh things that are said. It's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't really like saying that because I don't feel like it's as ca catastrophic as we think, but we do have the tower here as well. It's going to get worse before it gets better for the Republican Party. But I think that there is, I think there's hope. I think there's hope. I think their best bet is to get rid of 45 and just be done with that. Close the chapter, put the book away, we're done. Close the book, close the chapter. Now, I think that the, it, it's going to be a hard fight. I think it's going to be a hard fight. My thoughts on the election as a whole, I think we're going to be, I think it's going to be down to the wire. I think it's going to be almost evenly divided, and that freaks me out. It's really scary when we see that, because um, I'll go ahead and say, I, I would love to see a blue wave. I'd love to see Vice President Harris and um, Governor Tim Walls. I'd love to see them secure the presidency, and I'd like to see what they can do, um, and we just, we don't want to see what, what could happen if the pendulum swings the other way. And as the late, great Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that the symbol of America, or something like that, should be a pendulum, because that's exactly how things tend to be in this country. But wouldn't we love to see a little bit of balance? Wouldn't we love to see a little bit of balance? I think we would, because without it, earthquakes, earthquakes, honey, massive ones, big ones, the big ones. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. Um, also, if you're not subscribed and you're here, please consider subscribing because subscriptions help keep these readings free. And I love to do them and I love being able to provide them for all of us. So a little, something as small as clicking the subscribe button, giving a little thumbs up and maybe even dropping an emoji down in the comments. It really helps a lot, actually. So please consider it and um, Again, thank you for being here, and thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.